Hey guys, once again, let's yap again, or talk about the Harrison Butker controversy. So, um, so like, over like the past two weeks and a half, it's been commencement week, I think, because, you know, we're nearing the end of like school semesters and everyone's graduating for the most part. I mean, I, I, I have my community college graduation last week on Thursday, so, or someone did. Anyway, so basically, so everything Bucker, from what I understand, is an NFL kicker for the sports team, the Chiefs, I think. I'm not really a sports guy. I mean, I was there watching the... Super Bowl only to only for the Deadpool to retrader which didn't even come out on the actual Super Bowl. You had to go online like the Deadpool trailer was actually an announcement to go watch the trailer online on YouTube. It did not go live. But that is besides the point. Okay, so Mr. Harrison <laughs> But Kerr did an announce did a commencement speech and people got mad. The feminists they got really mad. Why? Because he spoke his mind. Whoa! He spoke his mind? Oh my goodness! He spoke his mind? How dare he he Utilize his First Amendment rights in a country that has the First Amendment. Oh my good lord, how could he have done this? How could he have made a commitment speech criticizing left wing politics when he is a devout Christian man with conservative values? Like, what do you expect? He did it at a at a Catholic school of all places, like in a Catholic school, okay? What does the Catholic school want? They want Catholic values in place, so, you know, of course it's gonna like appeal to the Catholic faith, the Catholic values, you know, him being a Catholic man himself. And like, you know, you know, the the big reason why he's even in the news at all is the whole bit he did about, you know, homemaking, you know, women being traditional housewives and this, and people got him flat because, oh, how dare a man tell what the woman to do? I don't think he was actually telling these women, these graduating girls, you know, to be wives and mothers, like, he wasn't gonna, like, he wasn't, like, being the whole gun to their head, be a mother and homemaker, no, he was simply advising them to do so, okay? And advising someone to do someone is different from forcing someone to do something, you know? It's like, you know, like how your lawyer advises not to do something, but you know, Kanye would do something, but Kanye would do it anyway, so, you know, you're not really forced, it's more like a recommendation, a suggestion, and I don't think he really did anything wrong. And you know, people are like, oh, and like, and I didn't read on this because apparently his mother is like a very world-renowned, famous, important scientist lady. But what? What does that have to do with anything? I mean, Joe Biden's son is a coke addict. Like, like. Come on, um, you know, with like, what relevancy like that that's do, you know, it's like, what, are you saying he's hypocritical because his mother is not what he's, you know, talking about? And then, you know, they, al they also bring up his wife, and then they got mad because he said something, oh, my wife's life really started when she met me and took on the role of a traditional wife and blah blah blah. I'm like... Yeah, then? 
he probably, you know, had his wife look over it, you know, he, you know, his wife probably saw the speech too, like, if the wife would have had a problem, she would have probably said something, and he probably wouldn't have not said the speech, because, you know, men like to appease their wives, and if something goes wrong with the wife, you know, the saying goes, happy wife, happy life, you know, you gotta keep the wife happy to have to keep your life happy, you know. So clearly, I don't think the wife had the problem with what he said either. You know, it's like, it's like how Bill Burr, you know, Bill Burr had now his wife look over his jokes, you know. I mean, we all know that fiasco and his black wife was flipping the bird at Donald Trump and people blew it over proportions. This is kind of like the same thing, but you know, it's a, it's a football player making a commandment speech at a Catholic university or something. Like, I don't know, it's like, it's like the craziest thing ever, you know, and it's like, and I, I do remember I was looking at YouTube videos I went on YouTube seeing what other people think, you know, on the more cons on the conservative side. I went on the Lady Water with Brett Cooper um, and some other guys, and then you know, I went on the Moon too. They're like, I forget, there's these two ladies on this on the Today Show who got really mad about it, and then they all, all things they brought up Barb the Barbie movie again. They brought up the whole America Ferrara, um, and like. Fizzy rant, like, did we learn nothing from the Barbie movie? And I'm like, shut up, like, come on. It's like, what would have been happen if he just he's if everything that he said in his commandment speech was the opposite of what was said? Like he said, woman, keep doing what you're doing. Men, know your places. It's like, you, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't really be controversial. And then, you know, they... And then, above that, they wouldn't even further because, you know, the it wasn't just the feminists. Like, the LGBT went in here, and then, you know, the whole abortion thing also came into play, and, like, all these other, like, political talking points, and I'm like, well, we have the First Amendment still. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, whether... You know, even if he says something a bit more outrageous, like, even tittering on, like, the whole Angie Tate, red pill, further, you know, threat and fit, I still would probably defend him, you know, because at the end of the day, this happened on American soil where we have the First Amendment, you know? And at far, we, and then another point is he did not commit any hate crimes too. So, and then you know, I don't know. And that, and then with the whole thing with the NFL, I had to make a statement like the NFL really did the one guy who I didn't even know he says okay. We I know who Travis is okay. We all know who Travis is because he is because Taylor Swift is sucking her, it's sucking his dick. We know who Travis is, but Harrison Bucker? Yeah, no one knew who this guy was. No one who knew who this guy was, okay? It's like, no one really knows who these athletes are, okay? To the average man, we don't know who these athletes are. So, NFL kind of took an L there by trying to make a statement saying his views don't reflect theirs. Of course they don't, because each NFL player has to, has, is their own man, okay? And it's like, you know, that just just, the whole thing doesn't really make sense to me why people getting mad, you know, it's like, you know, and then, you know, I didn't, and then they started coming after just conservatives in general, defend him and saying, but wait a minute, well, weren't these same conservatives the one canceling Bud Light because they feature freaking Dylan and Little Lightning on their packaging? And to that point, I say, yeah, that was dumb, you know, conservatives getting mad at like, didn't know Nadine being featured on the Bud Light, but it's like, again, I'm I'm gonna like defend, I'm gonna probably defend the whole Bud Light thing, which is gonna be a rare thing for me in saying, again, First Amendment, okay? First Amendment, you know, advertise me and advertise me, no matter how tone deaf it is, okay? And that's all I have to say, but you know,
we're gonna get mad and it's like I don't know I, I feel like you know we can get mad but I think you know we just get mad for like at least five minutes and then we can move on with life okay it's like do I get mad every time Amy Schumer makes a joke about her vagina? No. Do I make a joke every time Apple Watson goes on some sort of feminist rap? No. I, th I don't get mad at every time like a woman says kill all men because I have better things to deal with, okay? Like, I have to now deal with like going to now to, to going to another two years at a full on university now, which I don't fully have money to pay for okay so I have better crap to deal with okay I'm not gonna get mad at like some guy making a quote-unquote sexist commencement because pretty clearly this whole country is stemming from people who don't have hobbies who have probably nothing better in their lives but to freaking complain and I, I don't know I think it's a little baloney and a woman I think need to grow up. <laughs> ah, ah.